हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द वेरी न्यू कोर्स व्हिच इज गोइंग टू रन एट डिफरेंट सम ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट इन डिफरेंट नेम्स सम वेयर इट विल बी इन द पीजी डिप्लोमा सम वेयर इट विल बी इन द रिप्रोडक्टिव बायोलॉजी सम वेयर इट विल बी इन द नेम ऑफ एमएससी क्लिनिकल बायो इम्यूनोलॉजी सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दोज कोर्सेज सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट इज क्लिनिकल इम्यूनोलॉजी Uh, when we are talking about the clinical embryology, so it is a clinical field, and embryology means we are talking about the uh, fertilizations, uh, embryo, egg, zygote formation, and all those things. So this clinical embryology, that is a stream of biology, which mainly focuses on the study of fertilization of the egg and the healthy development of the embryo in the form of fetus. So I have already told you, it is uh, we are talking about the egg fertilizations, uh, ovum means uh, sperms, and then development of the embryo. So there are some of the specialized doctors, like when we are talking about this field. So some specialized doctors which is working in the field of clinical embryology, and they are known as embryologists. So uh, an embryologist normally focuses on the creation of embryo. outside the means in the uh, artificial environment into the, into the labs uh, so they create the in, uh, embryo outside the mother's womb and with the help of sperm and eggs means the fertilization process occurs outside uh, into the laboratory conditions therefore they play a very critical role into the lives of the couple who does not have baby uh, who not, does not, uh, does not have baby because of the natural conceiving ability or they are having some kind of drawback some kind of defects because that one they don't they are not going to conceive any kind of uh, fetus so in that case they help them so in country uh, in india like uh, many countries we are having so roughly there are main, main number of populations are there a large number of population they are facing number of issues of infertility so in that case in those infertile infertile uh, couples normally these embryologists are considered as a life saver for their family and the couples so eminent uh, medical institutions or organizations have been offering different courses i have already told you some places it will be in the name of in clinical embryology some places it will be in the name of uh, post graduate diploma in clinical embryology some where it will be uh, in the different names uh, okay so like if you we'll see here roughly we are having three specific courses we can see uh, they are Uh, either in the with the name of uh, master in clinical embryology that is msc post graduation degree if this course is of roughly of 2 year duration so uh, admission criteria is normally because it is a post graduate course so normally you require a undergraduate degree in this field the minimum fee for this course is uh, roughly 1.25 lakhs and it can go up to 5 lakh per semester this is the per semester and after the completion of the course roughly uh, minimum and maximum sal salary can be in the range of 15 to 25 lakhs and uh, after this course you can join uh, different organization different uh, ivf labs um, in the uh, senior clinical embryologist or research analyst then second course normally there are some organizations they are having uh, with the name of post graduate diploma in clinical embryology this is also of two year duration and they are normally university examinations they uh 10 plus 2 or 50% marks in that case this course is slightly not as equivalent to the as msc uh this is just a post graduate diploma course so their fee roughly ranges from 50000 to 1.2 lakh per semester and salary also going to vary in this case roughly it will be 5 lakh per annum to uh no means upper limit cannot be any limit so and they are normally going to join in the different labs as a assistant clinical embryologist then we are having a certificate course certified course that is fellowship programs in clinical embryology this will be from a uh, few months to one year and for this course course normal uh, eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 examination with the 50% aggregate marks and fee is roughly 30000 to 1 lakh per uh, semester and uh, and uh, means slight and means income will be or salary package will be lower than the post graduate or diploma courses <laughs> they are also going to join uh, in the labs uh, with the uh, in means on the post of assistant clinical embryologist and uh, after their fine so as <clears throat> what is the scope of uh, this course means when we are talking about the clinical embryology course in the india or in abroad so 
एस्पिरेंट्स स्टडिंग और दो स्टूडेंट्स हु इज गोइंग टू स्टडी दिस क्लिनिकल एंड बायोलॉजी और प्रैक्टिसिंग इट विथ एनी कोर्स आई दर इट विल बी पी जी डिप्लोमा और इट विल बी एम एस सी सो दे आर नॉर्मली गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड ए प्रोमिनेंट जॉब इन बोथ गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर एज वेल एज इन द प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल्स लाइक द अप्रॉक्सीमेट सैलरी नॉर्मली गोइंग टू वेरी सो इफ यू सी द अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सैलरी वेरी फ्रॉम वन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू द अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड द सैलरी पैकेज मेनली डिपेंड्स ऑन द फैक्टर लाइक जॉब प्रोफाइल एक्सपीरियंस ऑन ऑफ द कैंडिडेट एंड एक्सपर्टाइज प्राइवेट और कॉरपोरेट सेक्टर्स हैव बीन ऑल्सो ऑफरिंग ए बेटर सैलरी रेंजेज टू द इम्रायोलॉजिस्ट रिलिवेंट फैक्टर्स लाइक एक्सपर्टाइज लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड ईयर्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस आर ऑफर्ड ऑफेंट कंसिडर्ड फॉर द कॉरपोरेट सेक्टर देर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट एंड प्राइवेट सेक्टर सर्टन इस्टैब्लिश सेल्फ इस्टैब्लिश और सेल्फ रनिंग रिप्रोडक्टिव रिप्रोडक्टिव और इम्रायोलॉजिस्ट सेंटर्स ऑल्सो हैव बीन फाउंडेड लेटर ऑन आई विल सो यू सम ऑफ द प्लेसेज विच आर वन ऑफ द लीडिंग रिक्रूटर्स इन दिस फील्ड these medical centers mainly focuses on the study research practices diagnosis and treatment of the patient with healthy uh, health issue related to the female reproductive system uh, sexual uh, well being and infertility these courses these centers offer being better salary ranges as compared to the government or the private sectors therefore their success uh, rate is better compared to the government and the private sectors Infertility clinics have been uh, resolving the issue of patients with a better success rate, since they are mainly dedicated towards the study and practice in clinical embryology and reproductive studies. Now, if you'll see here, uh, this course, uh, what are the course content? So, uh, it is not exactly the re- uh, replicative of the course, uh, courses and other things, because later on I am going to talk about. Uh, the course which is running at lovely preparation university that is msc in clinical micro embryology so i will tell you the details uh, the admission process the fee structure the scholarship what they are offering and other details also so this is some of the important courses which uh, the, in this course normally students are going to study so not, not like they are going to study basic concept of cell biology molecular biology uh, embryonic stem cells embryology of the reproductive systems for both male and female Uh, physiology of the male and female reproductive systems, spermatogenesis, oogenesis, gametogen means uh, you can call gametogenesis, fertilization and implant implantations. Then embryo development from the first cleavage to the impl- up to implantation. Biochemistry, uh, including steroid metabolism, hormones, all the steroid hormones, sexual hormones, and how they works. Then genetics because of the genetic disorders, ovarian hyperstimulations, patient screening, and types and choice of treatments so roughly these are the course content uh, this will be divided into different subjects later on we will see so this course is going to run at different locations different organizations like one of the leading institution uh, in india in terms of medical education is ems that is uh, all india institute of medical sciences they run this course with the name of uh, msc reproductive biology and clinical embryology and this course is roughly cost 2700 5 rupees uh, then other second uh, organizations we are having that is bangalore institute university they runs they don't have a post graduate degree or they are, they are having pg diploma in clinical embryology and art assisted reproductive technology and fee structure is not well established uh, means declared then third we are having madras university they are having pg diploma in clinical embryology their fee is roughly 5000 uh, these fee are roughly uh, per semester then we are having private in the private uh, one of the first or you can call it uh, first institute which is having in embry- clinical embryology along with some of the corporate uh, like cooper surgical they have just uh, done a uh, kind of mou with the cooper surgical for their uh, uh, lab training and other things so lovely professional university is having msc clinical embryology and their fee is roughly 1 lakh 85000 per semester Amity University, they are having not uh, PG diploma. They don't have. They are having only diploma in clinical embryology, and they are having roughly fee of four lakh five fifty thousand rupees. Then Manipal Academy of Higher Education, they are having MSc in clinical embryology, but not with any organizations, any institutions, any corporate, any IVF labs. But the cost, if you see, this is the way too too highly costly. That is roughly twelve lakh sixty two thousand for total course fee. So. in uh, not only in india outside india also we are having uh, 
this MSc clinical embryology like this if you see this is the uh, University of Oxford there uh, we are having MSc in clinical embryology but this course is of only one year courses not two year course as we are having in India normally all the postgraduate degrees are of two year so uh, this international degree but it is of only one year then second university which is also going to offer similar type of course that is University of Dundee they are having uh, human clinical embryology and assisted conception uh, that is post graduation degree but again this is of only one year duration not of two year duration so in India uh, we are having only two organizations you will see uh, one is Manipal and second one is Lovely uh, which is going to offer you MSc in clinical embryology in terms of fee if you will see Lovely professional degree is slightly cheaper than the Manipal uh, Institute of Medical Sciences or Health Sciences when we are talking about the job profiles for this uh, after this course uh, once you are going to complete your degree you certainly you require a job so when we will uh, see the job profile due to the growing medical concerns uh, of the infertility as it is going to increase because of the pollutions because of the job profile because of the lifestyle changes normally the rate of infertility is going to increase uh, so as growing medical means uh, medical uh, concern of infertility is increasing in the large sector of the Indian populations the industry requires imminent and well practiced embryologists and infertility clinics because infertility increase so in that concern we, in that ratio we also requires the embryologist currently in India we don't have too much of uh, labs are more than 30,000 labs we are having uh, for IVF labs but in that ratio we are having very less embryologist so therefore there are always plenty of job opportunity for the graduates with a good scope of clinical embryology so if you have done a good a, a study you are having a good expertise you are having a good hands of uh, IVF technologies certainly you will get a better opportunity or better job profile when we are talking there are these prof their professions is highly respected and extremely lucrative so normally two major job profile if you will see it that is one is as a senior uh, clinical embryologist and second one is assistant clinical embryologist in this case job profile of senior clinical embryologist is that is a senior clinical embryologist offers the best treatment process as per the complications of the different patients whereas the assistant clinical embryologist normally they deals with the testing and the initial analysis of the patients so as name suggests it, this is the senior normally made a major uh, treatments will be done by the senior clinical embryologist and they just assist them then if you see the top recruiters uh, in India there are a number of uh, healthcare institutions seek out candidates uh, with the degree of clinical embryology uh, I means if you are doing one year course if you are doing postgraduate diploma or if you are doing two year course so as much as expertise you will have as much as experience you will have certainly you will have a better job opportunity so several job profiles are available uh, from health units organizations and hospitals listed uh, there are some of the important uh, IVF centers I have listed here that is uh, Cooper Surgical, Indira IVF, Select IVF India, Dynamic Fertility Centers, Max Healthcare, Hiram uh, Nandani Hospitals, Apollo Hospitals, uh, Claude 9 Hospitals these are some of the centers which is uh, dealing with the IVF technology and there normally we require clinical embryologists and they normally offering a better package also uh, if you see the uh, salary package uh, normally for senior clinical embryologist uh, roughly more than 15 lakh per annum and if you see assistant clinical embryologist roughly it will be around 4 lakh plus per annum the salary figures normally which is mentioned here I mean I just know I have mentioned is uh, that is just for your reference purpose it is not the actual amount actual things now come to the uh, course which is offered by the lovely professional university in terms of clinical embryology this course is of four semester duration so that is uh, that it will be of two year in this case the minimum eligibility criteria for this qualify is the uh, you have to qualify the exam so if you are passed with the 60 percent aggregate marks in the bachelor degree um, bachelor degree in any biological fields like applied medical uh, sciences or biosciences or medical science or allied medical or life sciences or equivalent uh, along with that one you need to qualify one of the tests which is lovely professional LPU is conducting that is called as LPU NEST later on I will tell you this LPU NEST is also going to offer you some added advantages in this case uh, the 5% relaxation is going to be given to the in this 60% marks uh, so 
55 percent requirement is for northeast states uh, Sikkim candidates and the some of the person means uh, childs or the dependents of the defense personals wards of Kashmiri migrants for them this is not this is not 60 percent this will be 55 percent so the admission criteria for this one is uh, merit in the LP units you have to qualify LP units and you need 60 percent marks in these subjects in your bachelor degree or if you are belonging to any of these categories then you require 55 percent so that is the eligibility eligibility criteria once you are going to uh, eligible you are going to take admissions so you will have i have told you this is a two-year program so total you will have four semester this is your first semester courses so roughly in the first semester you are going to uh, study anatomy uh, biochemistry their practicals fundamental of research so that because you need research also microbiology their practical and animal physiology means human physiology you can call it in the second semester you will have biotechnics their practicals i uh, mean all the techniques uh, it will be centrifugation chromatography means normally all the uh, analytical techniques then histology of male and female reproductive systems their practicals infertility in ovulation uh, inductive methods their laboratory research methods and design and system embryology this is your first two semester in the third semester we are having assist art techniques uh, their practicals good laboratory practice in recent advances uh, intracytoplasmic sperm uh, injection laboratory pharmacology soft skills and systemic embryology in the last term will be internship in the lovely professional university because they have a collaborative they have a mou uh, they have signed with the cooper surgical uh, center so this in uh, internship or the training will be done along with the cooper surgical once you are going to see the course fee so this course is roughly cost 1,90,000 per semester but uh, this is the normal course without any scholarship there are different way by which you can get the avail the scholarship at lovely professional university so either you have more than 90 percent marks in your graduation or in more than 95 percent marks in your 12th directly you will get 75 76,000 rupees or 40 percent scholarship in your tuition fee and this will be applicable for all your four semester so in that case your fee will be reduced to 1,14,000 not only these two a uh, third category is also there uh, where whatever LP units you had given in for your written test for your admission if you are qualifying that LP units and coming in the top category one cut of marks then also you can avail this scholarship of 76,000 rupees if you are coming in LP units in the cut of two category or you will have 80 to 89 percent marks in your graduation or 90 to 94 point uh, 95 percent marks in your 12th in that case you will get 30 percent scholarship in your tuition fee that will be equal to 57,000 and it, your fee will be reduced to 1,33,000 again this is also applicable up to all the four semester third and last category here is uh, category three of your LPU next examination or 70 to 80 percent marks 79.99 percent marks in your graduation or 80 to 89.99 percent marks in your 12th in that case you will avail 20 percent scholarship that is equal to 38,000 and it will reduce your fee to 1,52,000 again any of these category will be applicable for all the four semester means once you will avail this scholarship that will be applicable for all the four semester along with this one for every semester you have to pay uh, 4,000 rupees as examination fee and uh, this will be along with the semester fee normally we are paying so there are three different way by which you can avail the scholarship you can reduce your tuition fee first on the basis of your qualifying examinations like graduation or on the basis of the 12th marks which just now you have seen it then on the basis of LPU nest then uh, we are having different other category also so a scholarship on the basis of qualifying examination or previous qualifying examination just now I have told you either on the basis of graduation or 12th marks you can get up to 40,000 30,000 or 12,000 similarly uh, you can avail on the basis of LPU nest if you are qualifying LPU nest and coming into the more than uh, category number uh, category one of cutoff 40 percent scholarship if you are coming in category two then 57,000 scholarship if you are coming in category three then 38,000 scholarship this uh, these are the, uh, some of the dates uh, if you are going to because uh, this date is this is up to 6th March so this is for April schedule this is for May schedule so up to 10th March uh, onwards you can apply and 
so this is online registration start from the 10th march this is a date of examination of lpu nest will be 10th may onwards then slot booking can be you can uh, book your slot uh, on which date you want to give your examination at which center you want to give your examination so that can be done after 25th of april then date of examinations uh, 15th to 31st may result will be announced on 6th july and online counseling and seat allocation will be from 6th june onwards this is the website where you can find the detail about these courses and from that place you can also go and apply directly lpu has signed a collaborations signed a mou with the uh, means uh, in, um, that is us based uh, cooper surgical origio centers so uh, this center is normally going to help them in terms of training in terms of adjunct faculty and uh, many other ways uh, workshop and other uh, things also so certainly this is a, a good opportunity for the students to uh, enroll there write a test and avail the uh, a scholarship up to 676000 per semester and so this is all about what is embryology clinical embryology uh, from where we can go and which what are the best institutions which is going to offer which type of courses and some information about the courses which is running at the lovely professional university hope uh, you will get uh, you have got the, some of the information about the this msc clinical embryology courses uh, their job prospects and their placement details if you like the video press the like button if you're not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it you can press the bell button so that you will get all the notifications on time thank you very much have a nice day